Hey, Master Geo here with another toy review. This time we're doing the John Wick 1 to 12 collector from Mezco Toys. This one is super awesome. It comes with a ton of accessories. The packaging, you'll realize immediately that it's different. It's not the typical cardboard, but in fact a tin. And if we go around, we'll see some logos and uh, insignias that John Wick fans will recognize. Let's flip this bad boy over, and we get a look at the figure, all the cool stuff it comes with. Like I said, this is packed with accessories. So let's open them up. Of course, I'm a huge John Wick fan. I was so excited about this when they, in the very first minute that they announced it. This gives us our first look at the figure and a bunch of the accessories that come with it, the guns, the dog, the whole nine yards. Beneath this we'll find the rest of the accessories that come with it, including the stand. All right, let's just take a look at the figure now. And holy crap, this is a beautiful action figure. I mean, the detail on this guy is awesome. It looks just like Keanu Reeves. The material uh, suit, shirt, pants that he's wearing, it looks great. Of course, he's fully posable uh, with all joints, head, knee, leg, ankles, wrists. Now... I don't want to push him too far because you might rip the fabric. So be sure when you're posing your guy not to push too much because ultimately you'll rip it and he ain't cheap and you'll just get angry. He can stand on his own as we saw. Let's get a good zoom into that face. Damn, that looks just like Keanu Reeves. Alright, let's... Play around with some of his accessories now. So we get an alternate head where he's pissed off and bloody. Uh, the head pops off and pops in really e nice and easy. So it's a s easy switch. You won't have to worry about him breaking or snapping or anything. I like that it is easy to take off and it the joints still twist and uh, it feels tight. It feels like the head's going to stay there. If you see here, he's got closed fists, punching fists, whatever you want to call them. Now, you can switch these out with various other fists. Different hands hold different guns. In this case, this pistol, you can pose him as if he's taking the gun off to safety, ready to shoot some mofos. You can pose him for double gun action. Now. As I said, you don't want to push the figure further than the fabric will let you, so you'll notice that there's a little, that as you lift the arms, there's a part where it'll get stiff and hard. Don't push it past that. You don't want to rip your John Wick suit. You don't, trust me. You can also make it look like he's putting bullets into his gun. Here we can see John Wick holding two smaller guns. Tick tock, Mr. Wick, tick tock. Yes, he even comes with a wristwatch. It's pretty fucking cool, actually. Last of the handguns, the biggest of them. I think it looks pretty badass. So here we got John Wick with a assault rifle. This one's really cool might be the one that I keep and displayed on my finger. Have not decided yet. I also like that it comes with three different bursts. Here's one on the, on the aforementioned assault rifle. There's one where three bullets, I guess that's for a nice machine gun style. So let's try it actually on that gun. Yeah, that definitely looks awesome on the machine gun. It makes it look like an assault rifle has been shooting out multiple rounds. 
shooting all types of bad guys. Here is a really cool one for the hand that would be perfect for the handgun. But sometimes you just want to stab a motherfucker. So here's a, here's a knife for that and maybe chop his ass off with the other hand. It's actually a pretty badass look for John Wick who we all know is not just good with guns but hand-to-hand -hand combat as well. We also get this extra clip holder because you know you gotta carry your extra clips if you're gonna go fuck up some bad guys right? Use the extra ammo clip is gonna slide the casing right into the rifle and now he's ready to have his extra round if necessary. It also comes with this big trunk where you can put ammo and money in. And I like the detail and the color on this. Looks old and worn. I like the metallic look. Adds to a little reflective but old looking. So it's perfect for this trunk. You're gonna realize that here we have some of the gold coins that of course is used in the John Wick universe as currency. It also comes with some grenades. And these compartments you can put on top of the trunk and put away your guns and money in. So as you can see, you can put his coins there as well as most of his handguns, clips, knives, and the aforementioned grenades. You can put the rifles in long way, and on top of those, you can put the coins, handguns, and such. See? Now you close your trunk, and John Wick's got his guns put away. Of course, what would John Wick be without a doggy? And here he has his dog named Dog. And he looks really cool, and he feels heavy. Like the detail on his face and body. As a dog person, one of the reasons I love John Wick so much is that his character and the movie itself, the, fran the franchise in a whole, loves dogs. So I'm really happy he comes with a dog. This is the base for him to stand on. It's got the John Wick Chapter 2 logo. After all, this figure is based on his look and weapons from John Wick Chapter 2. It's got a peg, one peg for his foot, as well as the alternative to use a, a holder in case you want to put him in a really wild position. So here he is being held by the gripper. And yeah, this was Mezco's John Wick Chapter 2 1 to 12 Collective. It's a great figure. Definitely one of the best John Wick figures out there. Easily, accessory wise, it's amazing. Anything that you as a John Wick fan would want is here. And it just looks great in display. I definitely recommend you getting it. If you, like me, love this character and this franchise, it's already become one of my favorite figures in my collection. All right. Until next time, this is Master Geo signing off.